Hey, boys and girls. I know y'all are all excited to wish your moms a happy Mother's Day today. And I've been preparing a lesson for you, and I kept getting a, going to a dead end. I was praying about it, and I kept going back to a dead end trying to come up with something because everything I came up with, there was something else that God wanted me to do today. So I'm going to do a repeat, a rerun of something that I did a couple of years ago. But I doubt if any of you were probably old enough to remember it. But uh, Marie South is, has Children's Church today, and Marie is going to be talking with you about gloves, about the different gloves that your mamas wear. So today you'll be excited in there. But today I'm going to bring out a book and read you a book called Love You Forever, which I've done before. It's a book that I cry every time I read it, but it's a very, very sweet, sweet story. And I think we just need to hear it today. I just kept going through and going through, and this is where God wanted me to be today. So you got that book, Abel? All right. It starts out, it says, A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And as she rocked her baby, she said these words, I'll love you forever. I'll like you always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well... The baby grew. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was two years old and he ran around the house. He pulled all the books off the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator and he took his mother's watch and he flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother said, this kid is driving me crazy. But at nighttime when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door into his room. She crawled across the floor. She looked up over the side of his bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up, and she rocked him back and forth, back and forth, and she said these words, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well, the little boy grew, just like some of you are growing up. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old. And he never wanted to come in for dinner. He never wanted to take a bath. And when Grandma visited, he always said bad words. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to a zoo. But at nighttime, when that little boy was asleep, the mother would walk quietly into his room, crawl across the floor, and look up over the side of his bed. And if he was, this little nine-year-old boy was asleep, she would pick him up in her arms and she would rock him back and forth, back and forth, and she would say these words, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well, the little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager. And he liked strange things. He had strange friends, and he wore strange clothes, and he listened to strange music. Sometimes his mother felt like she was in a zoo. But at nighttime, if that teenage boy was sound asleep, she would crawl up into his room, and she would look into his bed, and she would hold him in her arms, and she would, wrap it, she would swing him back and forth, and she would say these words, I love you forever. I like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. <clears throat> well, the teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew, and he grew until he was a grown-up man. He left his house, and he moved to a home across town. And sometimes on dark nights, the mother would get into her car, and she would drive across town, and if all the lights in the, her son's house were out, she would open his bedroom window. She would crawl across the floor. She would look up over the bed. And if that really big man was sound asleep, she would pick him up and she would rock him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And she would say these words, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well, that mother grew older. She grew older and older and older. And one day her, she called her son and she said, you better come, at, come see me because I'm very old and I'm sick. So her son came to see her. 
And when he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. And she said, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. But she couldn't go any further because she was too old and she was too sick. Well, the son went to his mama and he picked her up and he rocked her back and forth and back and forth in his arms. And he told her, he said, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my mommy, you'll be. And he went home that night. And when he got home, he went up to the room of his little boy's, his little girl's room. And he picked up his little girl in her bed who was sound asleep. And he said to his little girl, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. This story reminds us about a mother's love. That mother loves us whether we're strange, whether we're two years old and getting into all sorts of things like they say the terrible twos do that sometimes happen into the terrible threes and the terrible fours and the terrible fives, that your mother will love you whether you have strange friends in those teenage years, whether you're flushing her watch down the toilet, no matter what you do, your mom's going to love you forever. Boys and girls, how special it is to have a mom that's like that, that loves you forever, unconditionally, no matter what. But boys and girls, you know something? God loves us even more. God loves us forever, unconditionally, in a way that we will never, ever know that kind of love. Boys and girls, let's walk real quietly to Children's Church.